Hi guys, welcome to tutorial space with Ola. And in this tutorial, we are going to be dealing with the sketch picture 2. The sketch picture 2 can be located under the tools, sketch tools, and then scrolling down, we have this here. So first of all, try to activate the sketch. So I create top plane sketch and then we have the sketch picture tool here. Alright, so this tool is a very fine tool incorporated within SOLIDWORKS and it's a tool I use regularly. So what this does for us is that we are able to insert a picture and then trace out this picture which in most cases will contain an image that will be difficult to sketch first hand. And the good thing is that when our sketches are made, we are able to use them the way our normal sketches would be used. As you can see that for us to make that too active, I had to create or select a plane to sketch on. So everything that will be done with the sketch picture too is going to be as though we are creating any other normal line. And actually we are going to need to use some of these lines or some of these tools to work with our sketch picture. So I'll go over now to demonstrate. The first thing to do is to go to tools, sketch tools and click on sketch picture. So you are directed into your system where you need to select on the picture you want to sketch. So I'll just go to tutorial space. Go and then I would choose tutorial space open. All right, so here you notice that we have the tutorial space picture within our workspace, and then let us assume that this is kind of a complex sketch that would rather not want to go through the stress of calculating how the curves should be and all of that by ourselves, so we can just pick it out and trace with the two so first of all we have this so now you notice that we have here a feature property window where we are able to select and insert our properties and characteristics of what we are about to do so first of all one thing you should know is that you are able to move along the x axis if it's not positioned where you want it to be positioned you can move along the y axis you can move or create an angle to it and then you could also increase the size by dragging the width and also dragging the height so here we have enable scale to lock aspect ratio the lock aspect ratio is for the instance when you are trying to drag this and notice that the width and the height are moving together with themselves so if I uncheck this and then I am and I move this, you notice that it's no longer moving with that um, link activated. You could also mirror or flip it horizontally, flip it vertically, so I'll change this back, and so we have this. And then you could also create transparency for your picture, and then for here it is none, you could say from file. The transformation the transparency that came with the original file so from the original file the background was transparent so we have this you could say full image you want the entire image here and then change the transparency by dragging on this scroll and then also user defined so for now we'll just leave it at full image and then i could just make this a little bit lighter all right so having done this we have the option of clicking on check and moving over here to circle or any tool we have and then we try to create or trace out the pictures that we already have there so now doing this is good but then it's also still limited what about if there's actually no need to go through all of this trace so there's a tool that can help us to auto trace this and then I'll come over here to options and go to add-ins. As a default, this tool is not always activated when you start up your system because it takes up 
more running time or more booting time for your SolidWorks software. So what we do is I'll scroll down and you see the auto trace here. So I'll click on active add-ins so auto trace is active now. But if you want this to always come up when you start up your system, you just select this. But I do not need this, so I'll uncheck this and I say OK. So I haven't done that. The auto trace is activated. I can double click on the sketch picture again. And then now we see these arrows here. So with all this, I move to next. And then I can select on tools that will help in my tracing. So the thing about these tools that they work in different ways so um <laughs> you can work for a picture now and not work for the next picture so it comes with a lot of guessing and moving around adjusting till you have your desired trace so for now i would want i wouldn't want to use use to select rectangular areas that's not what i want so the easiest for me i always use use to select color so I haven't selected this, I move my mouth and select within and say begin trace. So for here now, there's something wrong because we couldn't see the sketch we're selecting. So I'll just say none and go next again, um, select this. And then right now, if I select on the red color, you notice now that the sketch is showing. So if I select on the red color and say begin trace, you notice I traced out the red color and then where the red color it didn't it couldn't like create a precision is where we have this um, defect here so with this we could say recognition tolerance reduce let's see what it does nothing increase it just created more curves um, color tolerance okay so I'm increasing this and it's kind of taking better shape color contrasts or image contrast this way image brightness well you notice that all of these are helping to um formulate the way the sketch will be traced out so rather than creating lines myself and going one by one and you see that we have this so even though we've done this the sketch is not yet created until we click on apply now the sketch has been fully traced but then rather than going through this method of okay yes i selected use to select color but i selected red so what i'll prefer to do in this instance because you know there's there's like different shades of red here so what i'll prefer to do is just select white because there's just one shade of white so if i do ctrl z or escape and i go back double click on this next select this auto trace and select on this white and then i come down here or i come over here and say begin trace now i notice that i did not need to move any of these things around because the white is pretty much defined so i'm able to sketch all of that and i say apply remember that before if you do not click apply your sketch has not yet been created it's just showing me the preview right now with this TS so I click on apply and then changes to green and then with that I click on ok and then you see this here so I haven't done that I can click on the picture itself and click on delete delete sketch picture feature and I say yes and notice what we have here pretty much simple okay so everything that we could do with any of these other tools here is what we can use this for so when I click on this and say edit sketch, you notice that this is just a normal proper sketch here. If I select on this also this circle and say delete, we have the TS still available for us here. Alright, so this is how the sketch picture tool works. Now we can get really complicated depending on complexity of the picture you want to sketch. So with this said and all of this shown this is where we come to a close with this sketch picture too if you learned anything from this tutorial do not forget to hit the thumbs up place your comments if you have questions or confusions also hit the subscribe button and click on notification bell so you'll be notified when uploads are made and i'll see you in the next tutorial where we deal with area hatch
or feud.